What's going on YouTube, it's your boy Manny, coming to you with MLB 12, the show special preview, special of the MLB season, and you know, spring training is a couple of days coming, um, a lot of pictures and catchers, they're going to be reporting this week, so it's going to be a lot of fun, so in this video I'm going to do a quick prediction of who's going to win the divisions, and the wild cards, and the championship games. Now let's go ahead and start it off with the AL East, in the AL East I have the Orioles winning the division. And Toronto coming in second place to win the first wild card. I do not have the Yankees or the Red Sox winning nothing this year. I think the Yankees are just a terrible team. Well, not terrible, but they're just they're too old. And this is coming from a true Yankee fan. I'm a hardcore Yankee fan, so it's kind of sad for me to say that, but it's true. Um, I don't think they're gonna go anywhere. So let's go ahead and go to the Central. Now the Central is an easy pick. Detroit's gonna repeat as Central champions, and uh, you know. Is that there's no competition over there, so definitely Detroit. Now let's head to the AL West. Now with the AL West, it's gonna be you know a little bit different this year. I think the Angels are gonna you know come through. I think Pujols is gonna have a big year, second year in Anaheim. I think he's gonna come through big time for them, and I think you know he's gonna do what he's always been doing his whole career, and that's just hitting jacks and uh, driving in runs and getting on base and with the addition of uh, Josh Hamilton I think that's gonna create a very dangerous 3-4 uh, punch right there I think this you know I think that is a little bit better than uh, Miguel Cabrera and Prince Fielder in Detroit um, I think Oakland is gonna come in second place and I think they're gonna take the second wild card of the AL I think Oakland is a very up up-and-coming team uh, they surprised a lot of people last year you know basically winning the winning the wild card in the well, I'm sorry, not the wild card, the division, and the um, first last couple of games of the season. So I really think they're not going to win the division this year, but they're going to get the wild card. So, you know, that's a wild card matchup of uh, Toronto and Oakland, and I think Toronto is going to take that. Um, there's too much talent in that Toronto team. Um, it's, it's brand new, so that's why I don't have them pick winning the division. It's, uh, you know, it takes time to, to you know get to know your teammates and uh, play as a team when there's a lot of stars like that in one team and I think you know they're the most improved team. I'm sorry not this year this off season. so I really think they're gonna go a long way and um, you know it's gonna take a little bit for them to get used to playing with each other so that's why I got them winning the wild card and I'm not saying nothing about the wild card. Wild card is wild card. You're in the playoffs basically so you know. Now let's go ahead and go to the NL East. I have the Washington Nationals winning that division by a lot. I think I think the Washington Nationals are a 100-win uh, team. I think they have the pitching to do, and I think they have the quality hitting and the young hitting and, you know, all that energy. I think they do have everything that you look for in a team, and I think they will go and, uh, you know, win 100 games this year. Um, I have the Braves coming in second place, winning the first wild card of the National League. And, uh, you know, the, the Braves are the Braves, you know, they've always been, you know, this winning attitude. So I think they're going to, you know, get that second place, get the wild card and get in and do their job. In the Central, I have a little bit of a surprise here. Um, well, the division winner is not really a surprise. I got the Cincinnati Reds winning the Central by, by a good margin. Um, of course, the Cincinnati Reds got a powerhouse and I think they're going to, you know, they're going to do the same thing they do. You know, every team, every year they got a good team out there, so you know they're not gonna disappoint anybody. Um, the surprise for that, that I got in the Central, I think the Pirates are gonna go ahead and win the wild card, the second wild card for the National League. I think they're um, they're gonna get through their second half struggles and they're gonna surprise a lot of people. Hopefully, man, you know the Pirates, uh, Pittsburgh needs a good baseball team seriously. <laughs> so the NL West. Uh, I got the Dodgers winning that single-handedly. I think they're, you know, after a year, a little bit playing together, not a whole year. I think they, um, they're they going to get together and uh, pull off a, a good season. I think they're going to win it by a good margin. Um, no, no, doubt, no doubt about that. So I really, really think that, you know, the Dodgers are going to come together and, uh, you know, just, just do what they're paid. So like I said, I think Toronto is going to take the first wild card. I mean, they're going to take the wild card game. Uh, in the American League, and I really think the um, the Braves are going to take the game in the National League. Uh, you know, the playoffs are going to be very exciting this year. Um, I think in the American League, um, I know Detroit is going to be in there for sure, and I, ha I have the Angels 
beating Detroit in the championship series. Um, I think the the bats for Anaheim are going to be insane. You know, you got your Mike, Mike Trout, uh, Josh Hamilton, Albert Pujols. The the list just keeps going. I I think you know I don't think any pitching is going to just shut them down. All of them, especially Mike Trout. Mike Trout had a amazing rookie season. I think you know he should have been the well he should. I don't know. I'll leave that. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, uh, Miguel Cabrera de- deserved the MVP. He should have been MVP. You win a triple crown, you need to be MVP. But Mike Trout, I mean, amazing season. Now, the National League, I have, like I said, I have the Braves winning the wild card game. And I have the Nationals winning the championship series games for the Nash- National League. Um, I think their team is. They have all the young stars. They got good pitching. I think they're going to go all the way this year. Um, so I basically have them as winning the World Series this year. Seriously, they, they have the team to do it. I mean, they have the youth, the pitching, the veteran presence. I think I think they'll do it this year. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I mean, a, a full year of Strasburg, a full year of Harper, you know, that's going to help a lot. I mean, Harper brought a lot of energy, a lot of, you know, youth to the team. You know, he just lit up everybody, you know. And, you know, Strasburg, he's going to have a pitch a full year. I, I didn't agree with them sitting him down for the playoffs. I think that was a just a messed up reason. I think they could have gone a long way if they had him pitching in the playoffs for sure. I think they would have at least made the championship game that year. Definitely. But, you know, let me talk about a little bit about my Yankees, man. My Yankees are going to be a disappointment this year. I, I think they're going to be in third place. They're not going to get um, – I don't think they're going to be in first place the whole year. I think, you know, the age is really going to catch up to them. I mean, everything is going around with the steroids with Alex Rodriguez. It's just been this disappointment. Um, it's just going to have a lot – way too many distractions this year. I really think so. I think this is going to really hurt them. I really think uh, Jeter is not going to do what he did last year. Um, you know, he played extremely well last year. I don't think he's going to repeat that. Euclid is just, you know, I, I I don't know. I think Euclid is not going to do as good. Um, you know, he's just he's just there to just, you know, just play defense, basically. I really don't think his bat is going to be that important. Um, but like I said, A-Rod's not going to be missed. I really don't think they're going to miss him a lot. Um, he hasn't been doing a lot of, he hasn't been doing any good the past few years. He's been injured a lot, so I really don't think they're going to miss him. Uh, Teixeira's going to be Teixeira. CC's going to be CC. I uh, expect good years from them, but I just think as a whole, the team is not going to, they're not going to perform to the level of what the Orioles are going to be doing this year. And also one more thing, this, this you know, they're, they're being cheap. Um, it's very obvious they are. They're signing a whole bunch of people to one-year contract, just trying to get to under the 189 million for 2014. Um, I don't know if they're going to do that, and uh, we'll see. I don't know. There's a lot of things that are going to go through the, this year, so we'll see. Um, like I said, you know, uh, Cano is going to be a free agent next year. I believe they'll sign into an extension during the season, um, but we'll see. So let me know if you like this video. Um, let me know what, what do you think about my predictions. Like I said, Nationals, World Series champions. Let me know, and uh, I'll see you guys later. All right, take care.